Hello and welcome to the video Apache NetBeans connect to PostgreSQL database server with me Nam Ha Minh from CodeJava.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to connect to a PostgreSQL database server in NetBeans IDE using the database service tool so you can perform basic database management tasks uh, right inside NetBeans uh, without having to use any external tools. In details, I will show you how to make a new connection to a PostgreSQL database server how to create a new table, how to manage data in the table, and how to execute some SQL statements. And I'm using the following software programs, Java Development Kit, Apache NetBeans IDE, and PostgreSQL Server version 13. This is Apache NetBeans IDE on my computer. As you can see, I'm using Apache NetBeans IDE version 12.1 here. And to work with the database, you need to open the services view. Uh, to the left uh, window of the ID, you can see the services tab here. And you can see the databases node here. Uh, from here, you can uh, make a new connection to uh, PostgreSQL database server. If you don't see this uh, services view, you can open it from the menu uh, window services. Of Press the shortcut key Control plus 5. Here, yeah, the uh, services view uh, that includes the databases dot. And now I will create a new connection to a local instance of PostgreSQL database server on my computer. So right click on the databases node here, click new connection, and from the driver list choose. Uh, PostgreSQL and as you can see by default uh, NetBeans includes uh, JDBC driver for uh, PostgreSQL uh, already so just click next and here mm, you need to specify the connection properties host name is localhost uh, because I'm going to connect to a local instance of PostgreSQL database server before port number 5432 and the database name show me and username postgres and password click here check it here to remember password and click the test connection button here and you can see connection succeeded that means uh, NetBeans has successfully connected to the uh, uh, an instance of a PostgreSQL database server, and you can see the JDBC URL here. Click next and choose the schema. Uh, the user table uh, is in the public schema, and click next and enter the connection name. For example, shop me database on local PostgreSQL. Click uh, finish, and you can see the newly uh, created connection appears under the databases node here. So you can expand to see the details, public schema tables, and you can see there's only one table students in this uh, show me database. You can see the columns here: ID, name, email, and you can uh, right click on uh, an object to see the actions you can perform. For example, right click on the table, it will show the context menu here. Right click on the schema, views, procedures, other schemas in the database. Now I will create a new table. So right click on the tables node here, create table. And you can enter the table name and add some columns. Products, add column. The first column, name, ID, type, uh, integer for primary key, unique. Okay. And the second column is name. With uh, data type is uh, Vacha uh, 
size uh, of 50 not no okay and the third column is the price data type is the decimal not no click ok and click ok to create the table and you can see the new table products uh, got created here you can see the columns id name and price so and that means allows us to create a new table but it uh, doesn't allow us to modify the structure of the table uh, we can add a new column to the table here but we cannot modify the whole table to view uh, data in the table you can uh, right click on the table and click view data and you can see NetBeans uh, opens the uh, SQL editor here and it executes the select statement and you can see the result in the table here and this, uh, this means that the table is empty and in the output view you can see the result of the SQL execution here no errors occurred and uh, you can right click on another table to view data and in this uh, student's table you can see there are uh, three rows in this table here now I want to insert some new rows into the um, products table so we can click the plus button here to insert a new record here ID1 name is uh, iPhone 10 price 1, 2, 3, 4 and to add another row you click the add row button here so I we uh, input the data for another two products ID2 is uh, Amazon Echo price uh, 79 and the third product ID3 with uh, name is um, Google Pixel 5 price is Five, six, seven. Okay, and to insert these rows, you click OK, and you can see the result of the SQL execution here. Now refresh the table, and you can see the data has been actually uh, deposited into the database. And I want to uh, edit update data on the table students yeah I want to update the, the student name here so in this table you can edit and update data directly here I want to update the name of this student to John Doe and update our email of this uh, student to Ravi dot Kuma dot uh, 2021 And you can see NetBeans uh, marks the changed uh, values in green and then you can click this commit uh, request button here to commit the changes to the uh, database okay no error okay and to uh, remove delete a row you can uh, uh, right click here I want to delete the user the student journal right click delete selected uh, record here yes and refresh and you can see that student has been removed from the table so you can see it is uh, quite easy and simple to manage the data in a table uh, insert new rows, uh, update rows, uh, remove rows very intuitively and to write, edit and execute SQL statements uh, you can uh, use the SQL editor uh, which is opened when you uh, view data in a table here 
now I want to uh, write my own SQL statement mm, update students set uh, email equal navi dot kuma dot twenty twenty at gmail dot at yahoo dot com where id equal one and to execute this SQL statement you select the whole statement and click the execute button here run SQL or right click run uh, selection and you can see the result here execution finished no errors occur and you can execute the select statement here to see the result and you can see the email of the student Ravi Kumar has been updated so you can see it is also very simple and easy to write edit and execute SQL statements right inside that means ID and when done uh, uh, working with the database you can disconnect by right click on the connection name and uh, disconnect here and you see that means it has disconnected from the first SQL database server you can right click on the connection name properties you can see the properties you can also modify the properties as you wish to and to connect again right click on the connection connect so you see uh, it is very easy and convenient for managing uh, data in uh, NetBeans IDE disconnect so that you have learned how to uh, connect and manage uh, PostgreSQL database uh, right inside Apache NetBeans IDE I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.